All right, Shalom. We are the Hebrew Israelites from the Indianapolis camp of the Great Millstone. We're here to give all praises, glory, and honor to our Barshem, Yahushai, Barshem, Akakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone who do well and teaching us this 100% truth. Salutations to them and our fellow Arkham who live in this truth week in and week out on the highways and byways. Also, salutations to the hopeful elect of the scattered 12 tribes of Israel, scattered to the four corners of the earth that be like unto the speckled bird also known as the Israelite foreigners and your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and they are as follows. The tribe of Judah, the so-called Negroes, the tribe of Benjamin, the so-called West Indians, the tribe of Levi, the so-called Haitians, the tribe of Simeon, the so-called Dominicans, the tribe of Zebulon, the so-called Guatemalans and Panamanians, the tribe of Ephraim, the so-called Puerto Ricans, the tribe of Manasseh, the so-called Cubans, the tribe of Gad, the so-called North American Indians, the tribe of Reuben, the so-called Seminole Indians. The tribe of Naphtali, the so-called Argentinians to Chileans. The tribe of Asher, the so-called Columbus to Uruguayans. And the tribe of Issachar, the so-called Mexicans. To you, we say Shalom. Shalom. All right, let's get right into it. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 10, beginning in verse 1. It says, Why standest thou afar off, O Yahweh? Why hidest thou thyself, why hidest thou thyself in times of trouble? God, and this is uh, uh, David, you know, King David is speaking, all right? He says, why, do, uh, why does it start or stand up far off? That's because, you know, we think that uh, uh, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is not with us. He's going through these curses. You know, it seems like it's never going to end, okay? But he said he has not cast away his people, all right? He has not forsaken us, all right? He's going he's gonna to come back, you know, after we're done uh, for, for fulfilling these curses, all right? And that, and that trouble, just like you said, in, in, in Jacob's struggle, you know, we're gonna we're gonna have that, but uh, Jacob will not be consumed. All right. And that's talking about his elect. Verse two, it says, "The wicked in his pride doth persecute the poor." God, he says, "The wicked in his pride." And who is the wicked? You know, chiefly Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, according to Malachi one and four. Okay. He is the border of wickedness. Everywhere he goes, there's nothing but wickedness and iniquity all over the earth. All right? It says, let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. Yeah, and that's the thing. You know, they have a lot of stuff, uh, a lot of things planned for Jake. Okay? A lot of stuff uh, uh, planned for Jake. And he says, let them be taken in the devices. So what that's saying is, the things that they try to put on us, you know, you how about some y'all side, please put those things on them. All right? Woe to them that devise iniquity to work evil upon their bed. In the morning of his life, they practice it because it is the power of their power. It says, Woe to them that were woe goes into destruction. Okay? They work evil upon their beds. So, you know, all all night, all day. They, they're at peace, you know, uh, doing evil. Yes, all right? Yes, it says the power is in their hands. According to uh, Job 9 and 24. It says that the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. All right. Okay. Yeah, I got it. So, uh, the book of Job, chapter five, verse twelve, it says he disappointed the devices of the crafty, so that their hands cannot perform the enterprise. God, it's just just and that's you know when really when that's that's getting to that uh, uh, the MOTD. All right. And as soon as he uh, uh, unleashes that, he's going to disappoint him. You know, as, as, as he says, you know, when he's about to fill his belly, he's going to rain on him. His wrath is going to rain on him, all right? He's going to destroy Esau Edom. Because that, that, uh, that enterprise is pretty much going into Esau Edom's NWO. Yep. Okay, what's going to be the main factor in bringing in Esau Edom's so-called white man's NWO, the MOTB? Yeah. Right, but the Lord is going to disappoint that device because what? You can't get the elect with that device, though. Right, the Lord said he reserved 7,000 men unto them that have not bowed the knee to bear all. In that time, what, that's that's a complete number of men. But in, that, in these times, what does that represent, man? The elect. Who's not going to bow the knee to this B system? God. And what's leading to that uh, MOTB? You got that, uh, that Fed now that's supposed to be rolling off of, uh, July 1st. You know, that's going to eventually kick into the, uh, the one central bank. And we know about going on that website, all the banks in America are already signed on with this. You know, everything is going to be going through the Federal Reserve uh, before it goes through your bank. That's how they're going to track you. And you. It's the 
the book of uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, we are not ignorant of his devices. God, and uh, how are we not ignorant of the, the devices? Standing these scriptures, understanding the prophecies. Okay, so he can't get an advantage of us. You know, as, as, as he says, you know, I declared the end from the beginning. My counsel shall stand. Okay, it also says that things are written before time for our learning. So we may have comfort and hope in the scriptures. It's rough to paraphrase, okay? We're going to understand those things that, that's going on. We know, we know what he's going to do. And, you know, uh, the, the, the uh, GMS beginning with, uh, you know, the, the apostles on down uh, out here uh, uh, on the highways and byways week in and week out for over 30 plus years or so now telling you these things are going to come to pass and now they are, you know, and people like that are, are getting scared and worried, all right? But we have comfort, you know. All right, this is book of Job, chapter 20, verse 23. When he is about to fill his belly, the hour shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. Ah, and, and that's the thing. He said, he's going to about to fill his belly. That's when he's he getting ready to implement that MOTP. That's when he thinks it's about done. When he's not coming to it, get let, he's going to rain on him. Or put that wrath on him, destroy him. So, you know, the chariots, you know, the hour shot is going to be the You know, destroying this place. All right? With, with, with those chariots. That concentrated laser beam, nuclear destruction, that's going to be going on as well, too. And all that's controlled by your Yahweh Shem Yahweh All right? Let's go to the This is Revelations 2 and 10. Fear not of these things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that, that ye may be tried. And ye shall have tribulation ten days, for thou faithful. For thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. And that's what he's, he's talking to his elect, okay? Fear none of those things, because we know Jacob's trouble is, is, is coming, all right? Some of us are going to be martyrs, you know? Some of us are going to have to die. But then again, those who, who, who die in Yahweh's out of Mosh, Yahweh's first, will be the first ones to raise, according to our first Thessalonians of chapter 4, uh, uh, verses 16 through 18, okay? But he told us to be faithful. Okay, and we're going to get that reward. We're going to get that crown. And that reward and that crown is that uh, immortality and the kingdom of heaven. Okay, we're going to be in rulership. All right. Look at Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. It says, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy power. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will hold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Ah, who is this right hand of righteousness? The Howard shot. Okay? He told us to fear not. Okay? Fear not. He's going to be with us. He's going to uphold us. Because right now, you look around at all the things that uh, Esau Edom has, has set up for, for this world, specifically Jake. Okay? We have nothing to combat that for. And we're not supposed to. That's because our, our, our battle is, is, is spiritual, you know. It's not carnal. All right? That's why the scriptures say uh, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord is going to look up and tell him to get some. Because what? You got to remember that this, this white man's weapon is what? The sword is. Mm -hmm. Now, okay, hey, we know him to be the sword of the Lord according to the book of Psalms, chapter 17, verse 13, right? Mm -hmm. So you got to give away. Uh, just, uh... Psalms 17 and 13. Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. So it says, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. And we already established back in the book of Malachi 1 and 4 that Esau, Edom, like the so-called white man, is the wicked. Now he's the sword of the Lord. He's the whooping stick that Yahweh Bashmi Asai uses to bring this to the nation of Israel. All right, first and foremost for our transgressions. All right, okay, he's going to be that main whooping stick used in the time of Jacob's trouble. All right, but also going back to Isaiah 59, or is the Spirit of the Lord going to uh, lift up a standard against them? All right, that's going to show you that it's going to have to take a, a, a divine intervention, right, wow. to uh, deliver the children of Israel. The scripture even say, uh, uh, even Michael, just in there. We know Michael's the third of command. Yep. It's showing you that's how bad it's going to get, man. Yep. Psalms 31 to 18, 
Let the lion lips be put to silence, which speak grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. Khan said, let his lips be silenced, you know, shut him up, stop him from doing what he's doing. You know, because if you don't, just like the scriptures say, you know, no flesh shall be saved, you know, if these days are not short, because all the wickedness that he's doing on this earth. All right, you want to read the rest of that again? Psalm 31 and 18, let the lion lift you put to silence, we speak grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. Yeah, speak grievous things, you know, always having us in, in grief and, and sorrow against the righteous and rulers the righteous. The nation of Israel, primarily the elect of Israel right now, all right? I got that word, contemptuously. It says, contempt, springing from evil, springing mm -hmm. from prosperity, Bringing, springing from judgment. Nah, and that, that evil you know, goes into in, in bad times, you know. It's like the brother brought out earlier. That's all he does is work evil upon his dead. You know, he, he's a peace for your evil. All right? Nothing is working on this, there's no happiness. You know, and I don't know, I understand how some some Jakes believe this is the place, you know, but, but it's not. You're still in captivity. Alright? But that's what we out here, sign and crime, week in and week out on the video officials, you know. We're doing what we have to do to, to get up out of this place, doing our due diligence to make the calling of our election sure. You know, trying to get on that chariot on the first go round, alright? Back in Psalm chapter 10, verse 3, it says, For the wicked boasteth of his heart's desire, and blesseth the covetous whom the Lord accordeth. God, he's always, he, he's always boasting, uh, bragging about uh, uh, what, what he can do, you know, and, and, no, and no one can stop him, okay? He says he blesses the covetous, you know, he's, he's just a freaking greed. You know, we have a law about the, uh, about the gleaning, you know, he's supposed to leave a little bit, but he takes everything. All right, he leaves nothing behind. He wants to leave or leave uh, to leave you without nothing, just like he, he did Jake. Stripped us of our language, stripped us of our heritage. You know, um, uh, uh, stripped us of opportunities to succeed in you know in, in this life. He's just he's just greedy. Psalm seventeen. Psalm seventeen and ten. They are imposed in their own fat, with their mouth and they speak proudly. Go ahead. That's right. They, they have no fear at all, man. Okay? So they, they speak so, proudly of the things that they do and the things that they have done, man. And the things that they're trying to do. Preach that. This is Proverbs 1 and 19. So are the ways of everyone that is duty of gain, which taketh away the life, the life of the only girl. This is Proverbs 1 and 19. So are the ways of everyone that is greedy of gain, which taketh away the life of the owner's the world. Yeah, so we you, you, you always trying to try to gain something. You know, you won't you won't spare it, you won't spare it, even even taking away our lives. Alright? It's nothing, it's, it's nothing to you. You gotta have everything. Alright? Uh, Zechariah chapter 11 verse 5 it says whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty and they that sell them say blessed be the Lord for I am rich 
and their own shepherds pity them not. God says, who possesses Shemaina? And, and uh, who is that? He saw Edom, you know, slaying us every way uh, possible, you know, through his uh, pharmacy, through his uh, law enforcement, you know, the medical industry, you know, uh, uh, slaying us mentally through his uh, education program, all right? And it says, uh, he said, uh, blessed to be dead again. It says, uh, Zechariah chapter 11, verse 5. Because whose possessors slayed them to hold themselves not guilty. And says, hold themselves not guilty. And you can see, you see that right now, where they're trying to squash, you know, any type of history that comes out. You know, they don't want to be, uh, be accountable for anything that they've done. You know, you, you have their descendants saying, well, I had nothing to do with it. No. Scriptures say, you know, uh, uh, he, he's going to uh, get you for the iniquity of your fathers. Okay? He's going to recompense them in their bosom all the sins for their fathers. Okay, you are your forefathers. And rightfully so. Yep. Yep, because we're, you know, we're, we're, we're dealing with it. It tells you that right in the curses. You know, it's going to be a sign and a wonder to find our seeds forever. You know, these curses, for the iniquities of our fathers, we have to pay for it. All right? It says, uh, and they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich. Fine. They say, bless. They're trying to uh, 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 bless him for all the stuff that they've done to us. It's not going to happen. They say and they're rich. You know, they're taking everything from us. Okay? Like I said, the, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. They have put possession of everything. You know, start start with the chief nation of, uh, of Esau, you know, uh, Amalek. You know, they own the entire school systems, the media. All right? All, as you're seeing now, all the banks, the Federal Reserve. Just look at the history of who all the chairmen have been, who the CEO is. They, they, they all go back to uh, Amalek, you know, the, the so-called imposter Jews, all right? It says, uh, and their own shepherds pity them not. Kind, their own shepherds pity them not. That's, that's uh, the ones, in our, our leaders. You know, they, they, they've taken the bag, our so-called leaders. They've taken that bag, they don't pity us, you know. Like you got your uh, uh, Al Sharpton's, Jesse Jackson, you know, with your Farrakhan's, all right? They, they pity us not. All those top celebrities. Yep, celebrities too. Yeah. Uh, uh, I was going to say to your point in that in that uh, in that in that covenant with uh, I think it's Rockefeller, all of the products that that people use, they get the celebrities to endorse. It's poison in them because they know that they're going to use it. Okay, to push it off to them. Man, it's social engineering. Yep. See what happens? They don't realize. All right, but these words that we speak is from the Lord, man. All right, so they take them lightly. Yep. All right, so instead of them flocking to us, they flock to, to what the Cardi B's, the Jay Z's, like the brother was saying, mm -hmm. and, 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 and Esau know them, and they use them as a, actually as a weapon, all right, against us, man. Mm -hmm. All right, and if you're not going to know, all right, if you're not in the scriptures, man, you're not going to know what's going on. You're just mm -hmm. going to follow suit. You're just going to keep going. All right, uh, and, 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 and not ask any questions, man, so to speak, man. All right, like a, a deer in headlights, man. I don't know what's going on, man. I'm just going to hop in, in, the, in the front of the car anyway. You know? Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. This is with the Sirach chapter 13, verse 23. It says, uh, when the rich man speaketh, every man holdeth his tongue, and look what he said. They have stole it to the clouds. But if the poor man speak, they say, what fellow is this? And if he stumbled, they will help to overthrow him. Con, that's the thing. You know, they, they disregard us. But we're out here telling the truth. You had uh, uh, just last uh, fall, uh, uh, Kanye and, and, and Kyrie Irving say something. Oh, now everybody wants to start studying and looking up words and stuff. All Precept. right? Now, now they want to do it. And it's been, it's been said for, for, for years, you know, um, by, by the men of our GMS, okay, from the apostles on down. Now you want to jump to it. Okay. This is your letter in the yeah. This is uh, James chapter 2, beginning the verse 3. It says, And ye have respect to him that wear the gay clothing, and say unto him, Sit thou here in a good place, and say to the poor, 
stand out there and sit here under my footstool. Yeah. Okay, hey, what? People in the world, they judge based off of uh, outward appearance, man. Mm -hmm. All right, they don't judge according to inward appearance. You know, they see the man with some of the uh, best suits, man. All right, nice mm -hmm. shoes. They think, you know, he, 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 he's that man. Mm -hmm. All right? Hey, us, what? Us, the many y'all watch me outside. And we wear these rough garments, man. We don't look flash to the people. Well, they don't consider us nothing, man. Yep. And they consider us less than nothing, man. They mock us, scorn us, despise us, man. Man, it's gonna come a point in time where the Lord Yahweh Bashim is gonna hit you in individual reality and show you who he's really dealing with. Mm -hmm. He's gonna show you he's not dealing with your Al Sharpton's, TD Jakes, uh, uh, Creflo Dollar, you know? All your uh, uh, high, higher up Jake celebrities, man. Mm -hmm. Right? The Lord is dealing with the lowly and humble in heart, man. Fine. Right? Fine. He's, all, he's already doing that now. You had those uh, pastors on that panel but not too long ago. Uh, talking about you know uh, the, the the doctrine of the Hebrew Israelites and you know GMS specifically you know we have 100 percent truth that they were talking about that and said you know uh, we don't uh, they're wrong but we don't know how to come back well how do you know we're wrong okay how do you know we're wrong that's because you're wrong all right you don't have the truth he's not giving uh, uh, giving that knowledge wisdom uh, and understanding to you to break down the scriptures properly. Right. And just a real quick point going to that gay clothing. That gay clothing doesn't have anything to do with the alphabet community, man. But that gay clothing is dealing with this, like the like like the luxury clothing, like the luxurious fine suits, linen. things of that nature. Yep, fine, fine linen. linen. Mm -hmm. That's it. Right. This is a uh, sec second Peter chapter one verse nineteen. We have also a more sure of sure word of prophecy. Where unto ye do well that ye take heed as unto a light that shineth in the dark place until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts. Ah, he says we have a sure prophecy, you know, that you take heed as a light in the dark. You know, you hear these prophecies on the court. You know what to do in those times of trouble. Okay? You know exactly what to do in those times of trouble. You know, repent. Pray, you know, fast. Again, like you said earlier, do you your due diligence to make the calling of your election sure. All right. And, uh, that light in the dark place. Well, first and foremost, that light will truly your house shot. Because mm -hmm. your house shot say he is the light of the world, right? Yep. Well, ultimately, in these times, your house shot has rested his spirit upon his men. So it's the spirit of your house shot that's within his men, right? That's showing forth his light, right? In a dark place. You know, this dark place being America, or really the whole world. Right? Because what? This whole world is built up in wickedness, man. Built up in evil, man, which is darkness. Right? So also those few men that Yahweh watched me outside have selected out of the world or pulled out the world. All right, brought, uh, brought them out of darkness to this marvelous light. All right, those are the few men right, who are that light showing forth in darkness. Okay, quick. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 105. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Times pretty much straightforward. It's a guide, okay, into that uh, ev everlasting life, okay. It's going to keep you on that straight path, all right. So you, you know, you, you, like the scriptures say, turn neither left nor to the right, okay. S stay on the straight path towards salvation, all right. Okay, back in the uh, okay. Huh. Okay. John chapter 8, verse 12, it says, Then you have a shot again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. You that follow me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Right? Yes, yeah, he says, shall have the, the light of life. Okay? And that's that's these that's the scriptures. You know, like he said, the precepts are light unto, unto my feet. All right? Gonna have you gotta follow, you gotta follow your homage shot, follow after come. Alright? To have everlasting have everlasting life. Salvation, alright? Yeah, you gotta follow after the Lord. Also, so you don't fall into those ways of darkness, man. Yep. Alright, fall back into uh, into the ways of the sinful people. Alright, that's why they say keep it, uh, what do you say? Uh, constantly into the script, keep your keep your mind constantly into the scriptures. Right? Constantly, 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 huh? constantly, constantly endure, constantly seeking the Lord. So what a seeker face what? Continue. All right, and how you seek this way to teach me is by what? Staying rooted into the scriptures. Man.
Bible part. It's uh, John 16 and 33. Uh, red letters. Red letters of Yahweh Shah. These things have I spoken unto you that in, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation. But be of good cheer. I have overcame the world. Alright, so everything that was written in the, in the red letters is uh, the words of Yahweh Shah. So he's teaching us and guiding us and showing us how to walk, how to walk uh, uh, through, his, through, through, the, through his life. You know, he's always like, These things have I spoken unto you. That, that, you, that in me you might have peace. Huh, huh. This is uh, John 16 and 33. These things have I spoken unto you, that in me you might have that in me you might have peace. Yeah, say, right. Yahweh Shai said that in me you might have peace. Because what Yahweh Shai ultimately what he's that comfort, mm -hmm. right? And now we know the spirit of Yahweh Shai is with us, so ultimately the comforter is with us to this day, man. Right now, even though we don't physically see Yahweh Shai, we got this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, so we still have that comfort, man. Because the scripture say what comfort one another with these words. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is uh, uh, St. John chapter 10 and verse 27. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give un unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Yeah, so, so ultimately the ones that was following Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, all right, all right, it, 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 in the regeneration, right, those same spirits are going to come back, right, uh, 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 doing the same thing, right? The scripture talks about uh, the, the, the spirit of the prophet, uh, the subject of the prophet, all right? And, 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 hey, hey, ultimately what's been given, right, to, uh, to the elect uh, of the nation of Israel, all right, is, is what? Uh, uh, salvation, all right? Uh, 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 via the chariots or, or, or whether, you know, uh, it, it, it turned out to be a martyr. All right, uh, like for the testimony of Yahweh Bashan Al Shah. All right, but hey, in the kingdom of heaven, hey, hey we're going to be able to see uh, uh, those perks. All right, that that the uh, that 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 uh, 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 yeah, the, yeah, the, the promise. Are right, you going to be able to uh, sit with Yahweh Shah, man? All right, yeah, yeah, you're going to be joint heirs. Uh, in, in, in the kingdom of Yahweh Bashan Al Shah. And it said, and it said, neither shall any man pluck them out of my my hand. All right, so hey, so that goes to show, like even on this side, all right, the elect they're not going to be um, wavered by any uh, uh, false doctrine or, or any any weird philosophy. Right, like, they're always going to stay rooted. All right, in, in, the, in, in the words of Yahweh Bashim Al Shad because they've been uh, uh, predestinated from the beginning. Second Ezra chapter 15, beginning in verse 3. It says, Fear not the imaginations against thee, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. John, that incredulity was that was that unbelief. It says, fear not the imaginations. And there's a whole lot of things that, that's coming against us, chiefly from Esau Edom, and even from our, our, our wicked, our, our own wicked two-thirds of our people. Okay. Verse 4. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. John says, all the unfaithful shall die uh, in their unfaithfulness. As the scriptures say, uh, that which is not of faith is sin. And we know that sin, uh, the wages of, 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 of uh, sin is death. All right? Like, you know, just going into, there's a lot of unbelief around. It's a yeah. different, it's a different uh, uh, phenomenon coming out like every other day, man. There's somebody else. Uh, butterflies, it's going to be rules in the kingdom of heaven. You know? uh, and if you don
and your toenails long, you're gonna be a root. It's all type of crap coming out, man. All right, but we know that if you know the scriptures, all right, you know what it requires of you to to what be a ruler in the, in the, in the scriptures. First of all, to get part of your neck, all right. The elect is what's going to be the rulers in the, in the kingdom that's to come, man. Mm -hmm. All right? So everybody's not going to be partaking in it. All right? Some people are going to, you know, just, it's the elect of the, we just, the whole Israel is the elect. But there's the elect of the elect, man. Uh -huh. All right? Yeah. And those are the ones that are going to make it on this side, man. Uh -huh. All right? I was going to say, those things you mentioned are snares. Right. Okay, it's going, be, it's going to be fishing out uh, our people, okay? In these final times, it's, it's, it's the elect uh, are sealed. It's going to be, you know, Go to the two thirds as well. Yes, sir. All right. All right. This is book of Ephesians chapter four, verse fourteen. Now we henceforth be no more children, tossed to and fro, and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the sight of men and cunning and craftiness, whereby they lie and wait to deceive. Yeah. All right. And this scripture can, uh, it used the analogy of us comparing us to children. You know why is that? Because children are easily, you know, influenced by the things that are around them. So when you in this truth, you can't you can't be like a child. You have to be rooted and grounded in these scriptures and the hundred percent truth. For the Romans chapter three, verse three, it says, "For what if some did not believe? Shall the unbelief make the faith of your hallow without effect? Your hallow forbid." Right, so, yeah. what, 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 so what if some did not believe? It don't matter if you don't believe. Just like the, uh, it was just read. You know, but the unfaithful, you know, are going to die in their unfaithfulness. Okay, you're going to die if you don't believe. And it, it does not uh, uh, cancel out the prophecies. You know, the word, it, it does not, uh, 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 it does not uh, uh, cancel out what Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai said. All right? One of the most powerful quotes was uh, Morpheus. When the children said, hey, Morpheus, everybody doesn't believe what you believe. He said, my faith doesn't require you to believe what I believe. Uh -huh. Right, and that's the spirit that we got to be in. We can't worry about what everybody else believes. We got to stay focused on the God that's outside. All right. Yeah. Right. Just like the scripture said, we have to work out our, our salvation from fear and fear. Yeah. Our, our own salvation from yeah. fear and fear. Yeah. 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 It's not going to uh, uh, make uh, this, this, this law, statute, and commandments, this prophecies of non effect. All right? It says, Yea, let Yahweh be true for every man a liar, as it is written. Ah, and Yahweh be true. All right? We know according to the scriptures, every word is pure. Okay? Anybody who deviates from, from that, you know, is a liar. All right, the scriptures say it's, it's word from the time you come back forth. Uh, it's Isaiah 55 and 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the things where I sent it. Where so, I sent so, it. so when the Lord speaks, it's going to happen. Yep. All right? And we know that because it says so, man. All right? And you can see it with the prophecies, prophecies that are happening right now, man. Yep. The Lord spoke it. And therefore we see it, man. Right? So we can't we can't worry about what people think. We can't worry about what people do. The only thing you gotta be is tunnel have tunnel vision, all right, on the on, on the scriptures and what the Lord said to do and what's gonna happen, man. And that's what we need to focus on, man. Alright, because like uh, my brother was going into there are a lot of traps. The stairs set all over the world, man. And the people are really uh, uh, simple. Alright, and they'll they follow him, man. Alright? But the Lord said his word is not gonna come back for it. It's gonna come what he pleases. Alright? And what he says. Alright, so we have to have that bad friend that the Lord when he speaks. Alright, we ought to listen and actually do. Alright, go ahead, bro. Back you up. It's the book of Numbers, chapter 23, verse 19. Yahweh, why Shimmy Shai is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. Have he said, and shall he not do it? Or have he spoken, and shall he not make it good? Because yeah, at the end of the day, well, we know that Yahweh Bashem Yashai is not like mortal men. Uh -huh. right, everything the Lord says, man, he does it. Right, and we've seen it. The Lord said in the last time there will be earthquakes in diverse places, famines, pestilence. Hey, guess what? We seeing it, man. Yep, that's right. right. The Lord said in these last days there will be uproar of the people. Guess what? We seeing it. Uh -huh. 
Like the Lord said in these last days that Esau, even the so-called white man, will be exposed for wickedness. And guess what? We see in it. Right. Everything, I'm, ultimately, everything the Lord says, man, is, man comes to pass, man. Like the brothers are reading uh, Romans 3 and 3, for what if some do not believe, man? Like, it don't matter if you don't believe, man. Hey, take your unbelief on somewhere else, man. Because the Lord is still going to go forth with his counsel. But his prophecy, he's going to go forth with everything, man. Man, that's why we, we live in some really psych times right now. All right, so so we have to, hey, man, when the Lord speaks, man, we, we ought to be in a happy state right now because we're actually teaching the words of the Lord. And we're actually seeing our, what we're teaching and what he told us to do to come to pass, man. So we ought to be excited, all right? We know this can come to, you know, some, some ups and downs, some walking path. But at the end of the day, man, our salvation is at hand, man. We know that the Lord is about to make his brand new uh, appearance. All right, and get us and save us from this place that we're in. And that should bring some type of joy and excitement, man. All right, so when you read these words, they should have more meaning to you now, man. Because you're actually seeing what's going on and what's happening, man. All right, and your state of mind should be changing as the times are changing, man. All right, this is not 15, 10, 15 years ago, all right, when we were teaching the word, and now we start to see the prophecies to come to pass now, man. All right. So the Lord is not, his word is like you know, brother Red, the word is not coming back for you. It's speaking all right. over the globe, man. Right. All right. All right. And so I'm man afraid, I'm man afraid to like it should be on, 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 these, on these words, man. All right. All right. And do it how much you know what you to do. Right, I'm saying another thing he said, uh, you know, these wars and rumors of this, right? Okay, you, you got you got all that going. You got uh, Russia and uh, and Ukraine, and, and now they, you know, we realize it's actually Russia against the U.S. You know, our that, those are U.S. troops over there fighting, and then the U.S. is over there bombing Sudan because they gave uh, uh, they gave Russia permission to, to have a base over there. Okay. And other stuff is going on. You just had uh, a, 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 a Russia hit a, a, a NATO bunker, 400 feet underground, killing 200 folks. You're not seeing that on the news, you know, at least all over it. But you have all these, all these, all these things, like I said, the wars and, 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 and rumors of wars. Sir, sir. All right. This, this is Matthew 24 and 6. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. But all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. Done. He said, you know, the wars and rumors, all, they all have to come to pass. Prophecy has to be fulfilled before we get that crown. That's right. All right? It has to be fulfilled before we get that crown. He said, be not troubled. You know, it says, uh, the Lord is our strong tower. All right? He's going to put us under his wing, you know, by staying faithful to him. Keep doing our best to keep his laws, statutes, and commandments. Praise All right. You said, you said we not we not worried because uh, the Lord is on our side. We not we not worried about what man can do unto us, man. Uh -huh. All right. But, yeah, we need wars and the things going on around the world. We can't be troubled. We can't let that deter us or, or put fear in us because the Lord is going to be on our side. All right. In that day. Uh -huh. All right. So we just got to keep on pushing forward and, and do the things that's commanded unto us, man. All right. For nations shall rise up against nations, and kingdoms against kingdoms. And there shall be famine, and pestilence, and earthquake in diverse places. That's right. And you, you see that going all over, the, all over the world, all right? You see riots, all right? You, you see starvation in different countries. It just haven't, it just haven't hit, aka America, hit yet. But it's coming to this place, man. All right? You're going to see starvation. You're going to see riots. You're going to see uh, men... Man invaded their neighbors. All right, you're going, to, you're going to see a lot of things that's going on in other countries. It's going to happen here. All right, just because you ain't seen it yet, don't mean it's not going to happen. The Lord said it's going to happen, so it's going to happen, though. All right. And amongst all that, Esau going to be running a month on y'all, man. Yeah. All right. all right. All these different events are going to be happening. Esau still going to be trying to kill the Israelites, man. All right. Man, it's going to be a lot going on, man. So the scripture said, and uh, I think it's a psalm, the 128th chapter. It's our help. Coming from the uh, 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 Yahweh Shah, who made the heavens and the earth. Oh All right, so let's just roughly paraphrase it, man. Because that's who we're going to need in those times, man. This is uh, the book of Psalms, chapter 121, beginning at verse 1. It says, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. That's who, what, yeah, we're going to lift up our eyes to the hills, from whence cometh our help, man. Go ahead. My help coming from the Lord, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Oh, it come from Buddha, man. 
by help coming from the Lord, Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai. It comes from Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, man. There's no other name, right. all right, that you could call on to get help from, man. Yep. He's the supreme power, man. All right, so in these times that we're coming into, man, you have to really know the name of the Lord first and foremost, man. All right, you have to know the name of the Lord. All right, and that's where our help is going to come from. Amongst all these things that these brothers name, the wars and the rumors of wars, the pestilence, the famine, all right, the men of the Lord are going to be protected in those times, man. And the protection is going to come from Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Go ahead, bro. This is Acts chapter 4, verse 12. It says, neither is there salvation in any other. It said, neither is there salvation in any other. All right, go ahead. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. All right, so we don't, you can't call him what you want to call him, man. You have to call him his name, Yahweh, who, who the world calls God. And Yahweh Shai, who the world calls Jesus Christ, man. All right? Those are the true names of, of the Father and the Son, Yahweh, or Yahweh Shai, man. Or Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, man. Go ahead, bro. That's it? Yeah, I'm going to say to you, sir. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Proper nouns cannot be transliterated. That's what? Okay, and so that, if they're talking about, you know, uh, you in Russia, blah, 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 blah. Ah, sure. <laughs> you know, they, they got to say your name it's the right way. All right? This is Psalm 50 and 15. And call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver thee, and thou shalt be glorified, and that thou shalt glorify me. All right, that's why we're going to call on the name of your high boss and you sign that day of trouble. All right, we want to continue to give the Lord all praise and glory and honor in those days, all right? Because what? The Lord is going to have our back in those days, man. All right, he's going to have the, the legs back. So we, what? We're going, to, we're going to keep continuing to give him that praise and glory, no matter what, man. Precept. All right? Psalms 118 and 6. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? And said, the Lord is on my side. You know, I shall not fear. Okay? We we have the one and, and true power. That's right. You know, he says he is the God of Israel and none else. Right. He will never be the same, you know, according to Joel 2 and 27. You know, we're the only ones that have him and everybody's trying to take him. You know, number one, by, the, by distorting his name. Okay? Changing his name. But we have it now. Okay, I believe it's in a... a, a Ruth, he said, you know, it shall think upon my name, and, and you know, once we start to think upon his name and, and meditate, that's when things are going to start to happen. They are happening. Right. You know, right. with, with, like I said, all these prophecies are, 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 are popping up. You know, and, and then the thing is, it, it, like I said, you know, yeah, us seeing these things for the first time, you know, they're going to, there's going to be some sort of, you know, um, you know, just, I, I don't want to say fear. That's not the word I'm, I'm looking for. You know, you know, you might be scared a little bit, but then again, there's going to be hope. Okay? There's going to be hope. Because, he, like, you, like, you, like you said, his right. word does not return void. So he's going to do what he said he's going to do. So, the scriptures say uh, he has not given us the spirit of fear. Huh? All right, so he's not going to be in a fearful state. All right? These, these times are going to be troubling. Yep. All right? But the scriptures say the wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our time. So, yep. us knowing. These things got to happen. It's going to keep us stable mm -hmm. in the man. Because we're going to know, hey, this got to happen, man. Yep. All right. If you're a weak person, then you'll fall and get scared and be fearful. Fear. But the Lord is calling men. All right. And men, brothers, get a uh, lesson on that. Okay. So it's coming back around. The Lord is requiring men. And if you're not a man, hey, guess what? You're going to fall in those times of trouble, man. All right. You can't be a warrior and have a feminine spirit, man. Nope. All right. The Lord is requiring men. And, he's, and you're going to have to be a man in these days that are coming, man. Because yep. you're going to have to keep your family in order. You're going to keep yourself in order. Amongst all these things that are happening, you got to keep everything in order. Mm -hmm. As a man should, man. Yep. All right, go ahead, bro. Yeah, because it's not uh, definitely stability. Uh, the work people are stable. It says firmly established, fixed, steadfast, not changing or fluctuating, unvarying, permanent, and enduring. Yeah, so, you know, you have to endure. Like you said, he who endures to the end shall be saved. That's right. All right? Steadfast, immovable. You can't be shaken. All right? Staying on that straight path. All right? No distractions. 
And the only way you're going to be able to do that is stand in these scriptures and understand what's happening, especially with the prophecies. All right, praise the Lord. A lot of these things that we're going to go through, as far as being hungry, yeah. all right, not having, having nowhere to live. I don't know if everybody anybody been through that, but I've been through that personally, man. Yeah. I've been where I didn't have food to eat. So a lot of people uh, of, of Israel, like Israel, has been through that already, man. Yeah. All right. So, so when it happens, man, we're not going to be in no really messed up state of mind, man, because we done been through that already. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We done seen dead bodies on the street, man. Mm -hmm. We done seen our homeboys get killed and smoked, man. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're not going to be like shaking like the rest of this world when yeah. things are happening, man. We're going to have that stuff stable, man, man. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. Yeah, like you're saying. I'm going to say to your point, you know, we're not calling the poor for nothing, right. nothing. Right. all right, even in the scriptures, uh, I'm going to say, in the Christ, you know, uh, when we will not be the hand, we're going to be the tail. Right. So we're going to always know how to how to go through struggle. Right. If, 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 if we're not going to be like the rest of the world, because the Lord is trying us now. Yep. All right, in the faith, the Lord is trying us now. He's put us through different trials to, to be prepared for that time, right? Yep. All right. So when you go through something, you're going to know how to get through it. All right? And then you know how to get through it. You can help another brother get through it. The Lord is trying us right now. We're trying you to go, man. All right? You got to go through the fire. So when all the other do, you are already get to the dead. As much as possible, the Lord allows you to do it. All right? It's easy to talk about it when I got to happen. The thing is, when everything takes place, you see it all the way out, the chaos around you, you might be at the grocery store and you talk, talk. You never know, you know where you're going to be. That's when you got to pray to you. How yeah. about you outside to keep your spirit on you? Because you're going to bug out. That's right. right. You see what I'm saying? Right. Pretty sad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got that piece up in there? Yeah. Bring it. Hey, can I get it? Oh, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 28, verse 7. It says. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My Lord. How about she be outside? 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 The Lord is my strength and my shield. All right, and everybody knows that the shield goes into a part of being protected. All right, so in those days of those troubles, hey, with all hell breaking loose, man, hey, the, the elect are going to be protected for those times, man. It says, my heart trusted in him. So our mind is going to trust in you. How about you know, shine that time, man? All right, well, we don't need a part of every elect. We're not going to bug out like the rest of these people, man. Right. Right. Our mind is going to revert back to scriptures like this. The Lord being our strength, the Lord telling us he was going to deliver us. These, these are the things that's going to get us through in that day, man. It says, and I, and I am helped. It says, therefore my heart greatly rejoiceth with my song will I praise him. All right, so knowing these things, we get all praise, glory, and honesty, how about you know what Knowing that he is going to be our strength. All right, knowing that, I, that if our mind still on him, we're going to be straight, man. All right, we're not going to be buzzed out like the rest of the world, man. All right. It says, the Lord is their strength, and he is their savior. Strength of the anointing, all right? So the Lord is the saving strength of the anointing, the elect. The Lord is going to be the saving strength of the elect out here, man, all right? Save thy people, bless thy inheritance. Feed them also, lift them up forever. So that's what we, that's what we want, man. I want the Habashim Shah to, to keep us, lift us up forever, man, all right? Not let us fall in the time of trouble, man. That, these are the type of scriptures that are going to deliver, well, not, well, yeah, help deliver us out of those trying times when, when Satan try to come in and mess with our mind, man. All right, we're going to remember that Yahweh Hashem Al-Shai can do all things, man. This is that we can do all things through the power of Yahweh Hashem al man. That's why he's strengthening us, man. Yep. Yeah. Uh, he was talking about our uh, uh, mind. This is uh, the book of Isaiah 26 and 3. That will keep him in perfect peace. His mind will stay on thee because he trusts in thee. All right? So that's pretty plain and simple. You know, you got to keep your mind only know about you and all the child. And the only way to do that is through these scriptures. Okay, understanding these prophecies, understanding what's going to happen, knowing the signs, knowing the tokens. All right? And that's how he, he's respected. You stick with him, he's like, he's like he said, you know, you draw my mind to him, he will draw my mind to you. All right? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Everything is, 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 is happening again, you know, like uh, somebody grab uh, 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 three glasses for three, that which is then, that which is now, the first chapter, the first year. So, so, so the same, so the, you know, it's, it, everything is it, it, happening uh, all over again, okay? Like, those things were written a four times for our learning. The same situation, just like just like the brother brought out earlier, the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. Okay, we're going to be prophesying again. You know, in that same book of Acts, he told us that well, you know we'd be prophesying in the uttermost parts of the earth. You know, we weren't over here yet. And also, what that tells us, you know, because the Lord was telling his disciples, and which later became the apostles, that they were uh, prophesying the uttermost parts of the earth, right? Meaning. They would have to come back in the reincarnation yep. and prophesy in today's time. Yep. Right? Yep. Uh, this is Ecclesiastes uh, 1 and 9. Ecclesiastes, so like Ecclesiastes. What has been, what has been will be again. What has been done will be done again. The thing that hath been is what which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun. So there's no new thing uh, under the sun. So pretty much 
what you what you doing today that was your lot in the past okay and that's what's happening right now you know just like you said earlier the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets if you prophesying uh what we're right now okay that's the thing we were doing back then all right there's no new thing under the sun all right so you're doing those things all over again that's that's what i said the things were written a four time for our life so we would know what to do. So, and, 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 back. and just to back you up, just like when you think of the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, you know, when they throw like in the fiery furnace, mm -hmm. you know, they had, they still had faith. You know, how about you? The story of Daniel, you know, the lion's head, he still has the Maccabees, mm -hmm. he still had faith, uh, and, and get into the sight of death, ah. you know, and, and, and the sight of man and, and how about she now was shot. So our, our main our main focus and goal is to, to please the Heavenly Father and go through this uh, and go through this path uh, and whatever He takes upon us we take it cheerfully but to the best of our ability we call upon His name Yahweh Shimon Shai seeking the salvation in all in all the paths in which He, he takes like He says we, um, where He says uh, I'm thinking of that in Proverbs it's like uh, in all our ways acknowledge Him and He shall He shall direct our paths you know. That's our that's our main focus and goal and, and that path leading to salvation. Right. So book of Romans chapter 10 and verse 17, it says, So here faith coming by hearing, and hearing by the word of the Habash Shah. Alright, so just like this brother giving all these accounts of, 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 of the prophets of old, these are faith builders for the prophets now. Alright, so we, we when we read these scriptures, alright, that's why our faith gets built up. The Lord did this for that prop, Lord did this for that prop. The Lord can do the same for me. Just like the brother was born into the guillotine. Alright, the Lord can deliver us the same way, man. Alright, or even even other aspect that the Lord see for to deliver us. Alright, but these are our faith builders, man. Uh -huh. By reading these by reading the words of Yahweh Shira Rashad is what build up our faith. Learning the, the learning the prophets of old, learning, learning the ancient days, man. How the Lord delivered his man. <laughs> You said faith come by hearing. And hearing by how do you hear the word? Like you said, by the mouth of his prophets. Since the beginning. Alright? So we out here doing that. Okay. And just to back up the brother with what he was saying, you know, when we see certain examples of the prophets of old, though that faith boosts us us, right? James chapter 5, verse, beginning of verse 10. It says, Take my brethren, the prophets who have spoken in the name of the Lord, for an example of suffering, affliction, and of patience. Behold, we count them happy which endure. Ye have heard of the patience of Job, and have seen the end of the Lord, that the Lord is very pitiful and of tender mercy. And hey, we know what happened to Job, right? He lost his uh, kids, he lost his home, Satan attacked his health, his wife turned against him, he lost his sisters, he he lost everything, man. Now, also, hey, he knew it was a test because what did he say to his wife? Shall we not receive a uh, good and evil at the hand of the Lord? But Job lost all that. Right, he was put through the ringer, man. Put to the test. He passed that test, and what happened at his latter end? He was uh, blessed with double fold the way he had before. That's why the scripture in Sirach two says, uh, "Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy latter end." Right? Mm -hmm. But like the brothers going into, you know, uh, men of old, man. All right, the Lord sent them up as examples, all right, to us in these times, yep. right? Because those were sent up as faith boosters unto us, man. Mm -hmm. Right? Like the brother said, that the Lord did this for them. The Lord could do it for me. Fine. Right? And we wholeheartedly believe that. Fine. You got a hot just to back it up. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 2, verse 10, and it reads, Look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in Yahweh and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Alright? So that's that's pretty much it. Look at the men of old. You know, the scriptures tell us, seek ye the old acts. Okay? Do the same thing. Look at the generations of old and see what happened and we follow that same example. Like we said, like we said earlier, nothing new under the sun. All right? Follow that same example. All right? All right. 
And this is, uh, this is Matthew chapter 17, um, verse 20. And Yahweh Shai, and Yahweh Shai said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, If you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall be able to say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall re remove. All right? And, and, and this, 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 the elder, you know, he did a, a, a beautiful uh, um, study. On, on the mustard seed. The mustard seed is one of the smallest seeds on, on the planet. All right, but if, you, if we drop a mustard seed right between the crack of this concrete right now, and it grows, it'll crack this concrete, man. So y'all about to say, you have a, just a small faith of that mustard seed. You ain't able to do anything, man. All right? And that's the faith we got to have, man. All right? Doing that, y'all about to say, through our faith, hey, all things are possible, man. All right? So if you have that small amount of faith, man, we can blossom and blossom into something way bigger, man. That's right, bro. All right, so all you need is a little faith, man, and it'll take you a long way. All right? Yeah, so all right. Believe, and you have much, you have a If you believe, all right, you get to increase you, man. All right, but if you don't have no belief, how can he increase you, man? All right, go ahead. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's the book of uh, Psalms 37, verse 25. I have been young, and now, now, Old. Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. Yeah, so if, again, if David in all his time, he's, those that called on Yahweh Shemel Shai has not been forsaken or begging bread, whether it been the physical food or the spiritual food, which is which is the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. The Lord has always been with his men uh, from from since the days since days were days, you know, so since the beginning, he's pretty always sure. been with his elect men, mm -hmm. you know. I'm if I may add, that's pretty much you know, what he says, uh, God has not cast away his people. That's right. That's right. He has not cast us away. And the day what the scripture was when Solomon says that the heavenly father and his only begotten son have cared for the elect, for yep. their elect. Right? And also the scripture in Isaiah says that, you know, and he saw him come into that his servants shall eat them. I say, hey, the Lord, hey, the Lord God has elected me. Right? You think of him. This is uh, Hebrews 11 and 3. Through faith we understand that the worlds were formed by the word of Yahweh, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Uh, he so by faith the worlds were formed. Okay, who, who, who were the worlds? Okay, it's, it's talking about the nations. Okay, and that chosen nation the nation of uh, Israel before in Isaiah 45 and 17. Israel world without end. Okay, and do that he This Hebrews 11 and 3, through faith, through faith we understand that the worlds were formed mm -hmm. by the word of Yahweh, so that things which are things that are seen were not made of things which do appear. Time. So things that, that, that were not seen were not made of things which do appear. That means he just he, he spoke it into existence. Okay? Uh, he, he thought it and, and he spoke it. He spoke it to be. Alright? There was no, no, no nothing around. He said, this is what it is, that's what it came to be. Alright? Let there be light. Let there be light. Was light. Uh, go ahead, sir. By faith, Abel right, <laughs> yeah. offered unto Yahweh a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witnesses that he was righteous. Yahweh testified, testifying of his gifts, and by it he, he began dead yet speak, speaking. Okay. Yes, at the end of the day, what? Abel's example right, lives to this day. Mm -hmm. right, we know Abel yes, gave the right sacrifice for what? The first of his flock. Mm -hmm. right? Cain gave the wrong sacrifice. Abel, what did the Lord tell Cain? If thou do as well, uh, uh, shouldest thou be accepted? You know if you paraphrase it? So ultimately, what? Abel did well, therefore, he was accepted. Yep. Right now, in today's time, we're giving up our bodies as a living sacrifice. Yep. Lord one, we endure to the yeah. end. And, and our sacrifice, it's acceptable, acceptable until you have a bunch of your stuff. And just to add on, look, in this society, to, to do evil is looked well upon. All right, but we know that through the scriptures, all right, to do good is what's going to deliver us yeah. up out of this place. All right, to have that faith in your high about to do what is right, 
Mm -hmm. right? It's going to be our salvation, man. Right. All right? Do, do the examples, what this brother going into. All right? All right, so you got to obey God the man. That's right, bro. Can you take down the six real quick? But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to Yahweh must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that digitally seek him. Digitally hey, seek him. It says, he that cometh to, to Yahweh must believe that he is. Now, and, and is that not the exact yes, translation of the Most High's name? All right, Yahweh, he exists, he is, he to be. Uh, uh, right, so ultimately, if you come to Yahweh, you got to believe, man, because what the Lord is not doing with unbelief. That's why the scriptures say a double-minded man is going to stay with all his ways, man. Right, it says, uh, let not that man think he shall receive anything of the Lord, man. Right, because ultimately, hey, what? If you doubt man, you're pretty much saying the Lord can't do it, man. Yep. Right? And we know, ultimately, yes, hey, sir. there's nothing impossible for Yahweh about Shemiah Right, as the scripture tells us, man. Ultimately, right. hey, what? It says, uh, 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 can you read that from the top again? But without faith, it is impossible to please him. Mm -hmm. For he that coming to Yahweh must believe that he is, that he is, that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently, diligently seek him. He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So also, hey, what? No, we're not out here doing the, the, these camp lessons, the video pictures, man. We're not storing up our church in heaven for absolutely no reason, right? There's a reward at the end of this, and we believe that. Also, hey, that hope, right, and that faith in Yahweh, Bashan, Hashanah, that's also what's keeping us going, man. Mm -hmm. Over at the end of the day, it boils down to the Lord keeping His Spirit upon us, man. Yep. Hey, how about you, Shine? Right, He's keeping that hope alive within us, man. Mm -hmm. It's like we're going through all the time, you know, building up that spiritual thing, you know. Yep. Yeah, you don't want to name the Lord. You want to thank you. Call it the Lord. You want to read. Yeah. Fine. Let's look at Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is a gift of your hour. You know, that's just, you know, stressing the importance of faith, man. Faith is everything. You know, if you don't got faith, you don't have anything at all. Because what the brother just read in Hebrews 11 and 6. It said, without faith, it is impossible to please him, man. You're gonna be, that's how you're going to be saved, man, through your faith. It said, not of yourself. You're not going to be able to save yourself in these times, man. And it says, it is a gift of the hour, man. Faith is something that has to be given to you by our Lord and Savior, man. That's all there is, too. That's like what the grace is, is the hour is unmerited faith, man. Unmerited. Which means you didn't earn it. Like it says, a gift. He gave it to you. Right? Okay. That, that's why the scripture says the Lord said he have mercy on whom he will have mercy and he will have compassion on whom he will have compassion. So hey, the Lord, he will have mercy on whoever he wants to, man. Right? It's, it's, it's not of works. Right, as Ephesians 7 chapter goes into. It's, it's not it's not of what we do of ourselves, man. Because what? First and foremost, we don't do anything of ourselves, right? Man's goings are of the Lord. And but also, hey, what? If we if we be saved, man, it is not based upon our own works. All right, it is based upon the fact that Yahweh Bashmi Ashai has ordained us right, and chosen to have mercy upon us from the very beginning. That's it, before me. <laughs> yeah. Time, time. You going back to, uh, what was that? Yeah, we're going back to, we're going to the church. Back in uh, Psalms, Psalms chapter 10, verse 4. It says, The wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after the Most High. The Most High is not in all his thoughts. God, he, said, he don't even think about you, how about you, because he's so wicked through his pride. That's that arrogance. And we know, according to Proverbs 6, that's one of the things that he hates, you know, our pride, a proud look, you know, and all those things, all those attributes, I think it's like seven of them, Proverbs 6, they all attributed to, uh, directly to uh, Esau Edom. You know, even though some of our two-thirds can do it, but yeah. Pride, his pride, you know, his he will not seek after his God. You know, he believes he's by himself. Nothing can bring him down. Preach all right? He believes he believe himself to be a God. Yes, so that's why he does not seek for yes, himself. Sir. All right, because of, his because of his technology and the way that he runs the world, he believes himself to be a God. Yes. So he doesn't feel like he has to seek for God. Right? Mm -hmm. Wasn't that guy, uh, don't want to tell you? Uh, you know, we don't believe that God doesn't exist or something yeah. like that. That that right hand uh, man across from, yeah. 
This is Exodus 5 and 2. And Pharaoh said, Who is the Lord that I shall obey in voice to let Israel go? I know not the Lord, neither will I let Israel go. Yeah, yeah, right. Boy, this is going back to what? During the time of Egypt. Right? We know according to the scripture that we're in Egypt all over again. Yep. Spiritual Egypt. Right? Now the modern day Pharaoh today being who? We saw even so far white man. Yep. So hey, the Pharaoh, ancient Pharaoh's heart was being hardened back then. Right, and we know modern day Pharaoh, we saw even so-called white man, his heart is being harder right now. Mm -hmm. Mostly to the purpose that Yahweh Bashim Yashai can show his uh, true power, man. Mm -hmm. Right? But hey, it said, Pharaoh said, uh, uh, it says, and Pharaoh said, who is the Lord that I shall obey his voice to let Israel go? And so, hey, once again, we're dealing with modern day Pharaoh in today's day and age. Hey, so-called white man, he don't think he... He think he don't got a cement to Yahweh Why? Because he he sets himself up. He thinks himself to be the most high. Right? He thinks himself to be Yahweh Shai. He thinks himself to be the angel. Right? Like you said, we were in uh, uh, ancient uh, Egypt and we were in uh, spiritual Egypt right now. He wouldn't let us go. Uh, same thing in Jeremiah 50. You know? Yeah. Thus saith Yahweh of hosts, the children of Israel, that's the northern kingdom, and the children of Judah, the southern kingdom, were oppressed together. And all that took them captives held them fast. They refused to let them go. Same thing. That's just what the brother was saying. You know, this is, we're, we're in Egypt all over again. Egypt meaning house of uh, bondage. All right? And going to show you that, hey, the Egypt that this is talking about, man, is talking about modern day America. Because what? Egypt is symbolic for the house of our bodies. Because yep. back then, what did the scripture say? That the, uh, the, that the Egyptians made the Israelites serve with rigor, man. You know, hardcore slavery. Yep. And is that not, did that not go on right, here in America? Mm -hmm. That's when all, original Egypt, all 12 tribes were together then. The spiritual Egypt, all 12 tribes are back together again now. The majority of us, right here. All right? This is Isaiah 14 and 13. For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into the heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of Yahweh. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will I will be like the most high. Hey, you know, hey, this is going to Esau Eden, the so-called white man's God complex. Yep. Right? He thinks himself to be the most high. He said you will sit. Uh, uh, himself, all right, or expose himself, all right, above the clouds of your house, watching outside. What first and foremost, I go into his, his, his uh, high, high, uh, high mindset, our right, proud mindset. All right, but also, what you know, he has the space for. You know? Yep. Right. Gonna read that again from the top. Yep. Yeah. Isaiah 14, 13. For thou hast said in thy heart, yeah, he said, he said thou hast said in my heart, meaning, hey, this is Esau Edom's thought process, because what? Your heart is going into your mind. Wow. Wow. Also, hey, Esau, hey, he's corrupted, man, because what? First and foremost, Esau Edom, so-called white man, he was created to be the what? The you wicked. wicked. Right? He's profane outside the temple, man. Right? So, hey, this man, this is a corrupt individual we're dealing with, because what? The scripture in Habakkuk says, uh, behold, his soul which is lifted up in him is not upright, man. Not upright. This is a straight up wicked, oh. diabolical devil we're dealing with. God, not, not upright. Uh, yeah. I will send it to the heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of your house. I will, I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. That's a well. Who is that congregation, man? That's Israelites, man. I go into Esau, even so called white man, are ruling over us here in North America. Right? Hey, we know that Esau, even so called white man, are along with the other nations, along with the other human nations, they have done treacherous things, right, unto the house of Israel. Mainly Esau, even they, they, they committed the bulk, right, the, the bulk of the atrocities, right, into the nation of Israel, man. That's why, that's why they are number one on Yahweh Bashim Al Shai's hit list, man. John, and you just said to your point, that was from the beginning when those blessings were dealt out. You know, when he said, "In days of my father, I as a man, I will slay my brother Jacob." You know, so this is an ancient hatred. Okay, Amos 1:11 tells us it was perpetual. You know, non-stop. All right, and that's the way it is to this day.
Yeah, it's the book of uh, Psalms, chapter uh, 49, verse 11. The inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. Yeah, that's, that, well, that's, that's the, the mind frame of Esau. All right, they think that this kingdom is going to stand forever. All right, they think that, that no matter what goes on, nobody's never going to be able to take down this kingdom. But hey, you got another thing coming. All right, because right. these scriptures say, you know, how about seeing how say yeah, how about some y'all? I say these scriptures that he's gonna bring you down, man. Yep. Yeah, All right. Hour. Huh? It's in one hour. In one hour. Go ahead. That's and there. Right. Yeah. And that's why even through all the chaos that's going on throughout the four corners of the earth, what do you see Esau study doing? They study building up. All yeah. right. Because they, they're studying building, talking infrastructure. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's do that. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. All right. Even even with stores that are closed by the hundreds, Esau was still building in this fucking kingdom, man. 20, 30, 20, 30. Yeah. 2055. And their dwelling places to all generations. All generations. So they can go on forever and ever. Yep. Or right. they think their houses are never going to stop, man. We're going to be forever. Okay. Wait, wait, how about you want to shut that little story for you, man? Yep. All right. They called their lands after their own names. Hey, what are we at? In America. All right. That's not, that's not the label this land, man. Right, those are named two Edomites, man. Well, yep. America, 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 who was named after Amerigo Vespucci. Then you got Africa, who was named after uh, Leo Scipio Africanus. Right. All right. So they named Asia, those names after themselves, man. Asia is another one of those lands that was named after my. I can't, I can't remember what one name it was. Asia. 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 All right, so, so what do you tell me? Well, I'm from the United States. All right, so you tell him you're from this man, because that's his name. It's not the name of the land, man. Yep. All right. Yep. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 7. How much she have glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her, for she saith in her heart, I said a queen, I am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. All right, that's... The mindset of uh, 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 so called white man, man. What do they say, man? Hey, hey, nobody's never, nobody's never uh, uh, um, touched foot on our land. Yep. All right, hey, we can't be, hey, we can't be taken down. All right, nobody can do nothing to so called America. All right, that's the so called pride of America even to this day. Yep. Hey, we're we gonna go around, we're gonna put sanction on this people, sanction on yep. this people, sanction on this people. They glorify themselves, man, all right? And they think that nobody's gonna be able to take them down. The Lord is gonna take this place down. Are you gonna put the mindset on these people to shoot these nukes in this place, man? Yeah. All right? Since she said I said a widow, since she haven't had no loss of life. I said not a widow. So they have no loss of life. Alright? But you wanna have a great loss of life, man. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Just to back you up too, we are usually pointing to how they boast themselves, even with this this uh so-called war going on. What was the general here here saying? Hey, uh, we, we, we ready for your children and daughters to die. Yep. Hey, hey, uh, we have somebody else to raise them. Somebody else to raise them. And we're the hey, yeah. strongest military, man. They still prideful, man. Yep. All right. Even 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 in the midst of them seeing that their kingdom is falling, they're still prideful. Yep. All right. Hey, that's why that, that pride is going to be your destruction, man. Yep. Pride, uh, for destruction, and a haunted spirit, spirit before fall. fall. God, God. Go ahead, bro. So back in Revelation uh, 18 and 8. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, mm. death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the, the Lord Yahweh who judges, judges her. Good. Good. All right, so like the brother was saying, man, all these things are going to come upon you on one day. You know, while you sitting on that hot horse, thinking ain't nobody going to touch you, man, you're going to be brought down to the ground, man, by all these different plagues. Right. Lisa, the plagues, the number one plague is going to be those nuclear missiles. Okay, this is uh, Jeremiah 17, starting at verse 6. This is This is Daniel 7 to 18. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. 
That's right. So the Lord, the, the, the Lord is going to allow Yahweh Shah to come down here, the angels able to do what? To possess this kingdom. All right. And we're going to have an everlasting kingdom once this rulership changes over, man. Yep. All right. That's what it means by my people shall never be ashamed. Okay. Yeah. Never be ashamed. Yeah. Right, a quick point. Right. We said the saints. We we'll figure out who the saints are. It's the Book of Psalms, 148, verse 14. He he also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints. Yet even the children of Israel, a people near unto him, praise ye the Lord. Wow. So just going to the precept, of brother ruled out. Said the saints shall take the kingdom. Through Yahweh Bashim Shai, those saints are going to be the children of Israel, the so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Yep. That's going to take over the kingdom and rule with Yahweh Shai for eternity. This is how it is up. That would be the elect, starting with the elect. It's Obadiah 1 and 3. The pride of thy heart have deceived thee, that thou, that, that thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rocks, whose habitation is. Is high that says in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? All right, and that's what he's that's that's the pride and that mindset of Esau, you know. Hey, who's gonna bring me down? Hey, we, we, hey we, we're, we're the number one, we're the number one uh military, we're the, we're the number one, number one power structure. Who's gonna bring us down? And I'll tell you right now, you have about some y'all shy is gonna bring you down, man. All right, yeah, uh, those who dwell in the cleft of the rocks. And that's talking about the ancient uh, uh, Mount Seir. You know, if you look at those structures over there uh, in, in the ancient times, they're the same ones over here in America right now. All right? Uh, look at Isaiah chapter 47 and verse 8. It says, Therefore here now, this that are given into pleasure, that dwelleth carelessly, that says in thy heart, I am none else beside me, I shall not sit a widow, widow, neither shall I know the law for children. All right? And that's the one called, that's the so-called putting me in that line, man. All right? They said we don't, they don't know no laws for children. They think I'm going forever like these brothers read in, in, in the book of Revelations, man. They said they don't know no laws for children. All right? They think, like I said, man, ain't nothing going to happen to them. They, yeah, man. They said, but these things, but these two things shall come to be in a moment in one day, the loss of children and widowhood. All right, so y'all about Shemar said, y'all about Shemar Shai said, contrary to your belief, I'm gonna kick your butt, man. All right, contrary to what you believe, all right, you're gonna lose it all. All right, messing around with me, man. They shall come up on thee in their perfection. All right, so the Lord is gonna destroy you with a perfection. All right, a hundred percent. All right, with, with the an altar combo. Oh, <laughs> flawless victory. Flawless victory. Yeah. 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 All right. So the Lord is going to kick your behind perfectly. <laughs> it says, for the multitude of thy sorceries, all right, it was a part of those sorceries, sorceries, man. Uh, these brothers went to some of them early, having these so-called idols, uh, 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 and chat not people to do certain things. All right, what's one of your biggest sorceries? The so-called television, man. Yeah. All right? You, you, you push that, uh, your agendas to the television, to so-called commercials. Uh, you can be watch, watching something righteous, man. All right, here come a, 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 a two dudes holding hands. And it's, it's a damn double commercial, man. But they hold their hands, walking down, skipping down the, the, the park, man. All right, that's the type of sorcery thing to put that on your mind, man. That's the type of sorcery that they come up with, man. What's another part of your sorcery? All right, that so-called jab you came out with, man. Yep. Uh, everybody got to take this and you'll be okay. No, we had faith in your about Shemel Shai and we was okay, man. All right. All right, we didn't, we didn't believe in your sorceries and what you, the witchcraft you tried to put on us, man. Yeah. You know, uh, it's like like you were saying, the you know, sorcery goes to the jab because what? You know, Esau, he was, you know, uh, Jake's celebrities, what? You know, Esau knows that, you know, Jake is heavily influenced, you know, by celebrities. Right? right, that's also going to Esau's witchcraft, you know. <laughs> setting up, uh, Esau setting up Jake's celebrities, you know, these various different commercials. Like, what, uh, DMX came out with a rap song. Talking about the jump shot. Yeah. Well, what was that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What was that? Uh, that basketball player. This one shot, I won't block. <laughs> and he right. died. Yep. <laughs> hey, you hey, make that too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's funny. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> 
It says, and for the great abundance of thy chapters, it says, for thou hast trusted in thy wickedness, thou hast said, none seeth me. All right, and that's what they say. Don't nobody see us. Hey, we, we were doing this forever to these people, man. Yeah, that's right. We see you. That's right. So the, so the Lord, the Lord, the Lord is, the Lord is used even your own devices to turn around up on your head. I yeah. came out with TikTok, but what does TikTok do? TikTok, TikTok has exposed you on a whole other yeah. level, man. All right, all type of social media sites. And what else does the Lord use to expose you? For, foremost, the prophets, man. Yeah. All right, the prophets have exposed you, man. All right, the prophets have told all these things. People are really are just regurgitating what the, what the elders and prophets had already came out and said, man. All right, they just, hey, now they, now they start to see it for themselves. Are, and, and, and they tell the people, man. You can't mm -hmm. this. No, you can't to right the <laughs> To back you up, bro, really, really the whole internet, because you know, there, there's articles surfacing every day, man. There's articles yeah. everywhere. Yep. I'm talking about the history you know, of these countries, right? The history of so-called white people, man, the Scotties, man. So, hey, your, your skirts, man, hey, you saw your skirt has been lifted. The Lord has revealed your most secret parts, <laughs> right? Uh, how this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 15, verse 3. It says, The eyes of the Lord, Yahweh Shimon Shai, are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. This is backing up the angels of the Lord, you got the men of the Lord, that are seeing and seeing everything. And and, and filtering it all throughout through the scriptures. Yep. And uh, the good and the evil is being seen by Yahweh Shimon Shai. So although you may think you're hiding and you're in your secret places, the Lord is, is making it known. And, and putting it out for the world to see, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that there's no excuse when when uh, when when judgment fully comes in its full perfection. Mm -hmm. Yep. Back in Isaiah 47 and 10, it says, "For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness; thou hast said, thou seest me; thy wisdom and thy knowledge it hath perverted; thee. and thou hast said that in thy heart I am, and none else beside me." You know, and the scriptures talk about how Esau is wider than day. Right, Esau, Esau, even the so-called white man, searches everything out, man. That's how he knows, you know, what to bring against Jacob. Yep. And so, hey, what Esau, even the so-called white man, prides himself and it's acknowledged. Like, that's why he's so proud and thinks himself to be a hollow boss now shot. Mm -hmm. But hey, this man don't know that the Lord got him in trick bag because of what? The Lord gave you that technology on the left hand side for a purpose that the Lord can show his power. Man. Hey, what, your, hey, your technology ain't shit. It gets your album busting outside technology. Right? Hey, your, 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 uh, your, your fighter chest, man, your tanks, man, any of your, any of your military equipment, man, stand no chance against the chariots, man. Nope. Hey, there's videos, man, that have been surfacing, man. The chariots playing with turret gunners, man. I'm talking about those turret gunners. The chariots is playing with them, man. Not a single bullet hit them. Hey, hey, but you got to do that. Even that, he saw that way more, they got technology we ain't seen with that. Yeah. Right. All right, so they got stuff behind the scenes, and that's what they think they're going to be able to pull out when that time happens, yeah. man. Like the Lord oh, they don't know we got this. They still talking about terror guns. Well, we got lasers. We got, they, we got, they got all type of shit that we ain't even seen. So they, they, they <coughs> mind, they think they can hang with whatever comes, man. All right, they think their technology is going to save them, but it's not. Man. That's right, bro. All right, anything that you can pull out, Hey, the Lord is going to destroy it. Go ahead, bro. I was going to say, that's the point. Back in the uh, 80s, I think they did a uh, documentary on ancient aliens where the uh, nuclear missiles started. The yep. countdown started. They didn't know what to do. Right. And it got to the last second, and it stopped. And they said at that time, a chariot was spotted over Ukraine, and that happened. <laughs> they, they got the little tic-tac that looked like a little chariot now, man. Yep. So we saw that technology. Stuff that can help you know, generate yeah. stuff, man. They had all type of 
things that can help the human body, all right, but they're heating it upon themselves, man, because yeah. they don't want society to get better, man. Yeah. So you're a damn devil, man. The Lord needs to destroy you quick and immediately, man. And so to ahead, back bro. you up, that's ultimately another one of the messages they keep getting richer and richer and richer. Yeah. Because ultimately, hey, what, that, that method of practicing is leading individuals to buy more medicine and more medicine and more medicine. That's why scriptures say you are forges of lives for physicians of no value. Because no. right, what? Though those medicines, they also have side effects that are going to keep you running back to this devil. God. He's going to keep coming out your pockets, man. God. So so what happens is when Esau does is, let's say you get uh, 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 the flu, all right, your body goes into what it has a, uh, a temperature. All right, well, see, he, that's, that temperature is to help get to push the stuff out your body. Esau gives you medicine to make that effect go away yep. so you can't even cure yourself. Yep. So you, hey, they the whole devil out there, man. Yep. That's what. That's how they operate. So, so you got a body, you got a fever, you're sweating closely, which you're supposed to do, mm -hmm. sweat the toxins out. These are give you some medicine to keep that all in, man. Yep. All right, and think yeah, you think you heal, but really you're doing your body way more damage, man. Yep. So you got to what these devils have went surpassed. Man, they're wicked, more wicked than you could ever know, man. So, all right, go ahead, brother. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm gonna say to your point. You know, we, we know it's like Dr. D. We read earlier. But they boast of what they do. Yeah. Okay, that that video about uh about, about the Rockefellers uh, uh, taking over the American medical industry, they used to snatch that down. Yeah. Now they leave it up. Okay, so he telling you this is what we did, and then what, what he do after he took over the American medical industry? You know, he uh, monopolized the uh, the oil industry, so he was taking petroleum and putting it in, in, in the pharmaceuticals, which caused cancer. So what he did. He took over the American medical industry, then created the National uh, Cancer Society with uh, this dude named Carnegie. Yep. So they're making money hand over fist. Well, and then, off, of, off, of, off of our demise. And then discounts herbs. Yeah. Which was the natural healing. Yep. Sure was. Going on in the earth before he took over, man. Sure was. But and even that, I'm not. But your body is a natural healer. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Your body can heal itself. And, 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 and Esau, they don't know that your body's healing yourself. And give you something to make you think you feel better, to suppress these things that you got in you, but it's really tearing you apart, man. Yep. Like Esau is a terrible, he's the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. And we know that for sure, man. All right, go ahead, brother. I'm hey, so now, hey, Jake Wright, though, because you look at even the commercials, they say uh, uh, something for your stomach, they say side effect, maybe suicidal thoughts. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Heart attack. A heart attack, yeah, yeah. Uh, shut down of the liver. Maybe it'd be, it'd be a, 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 a paragraph of shit that's gonna fuck you up at the bottom of the screen. Oh, and, 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 and out of point that they speed up the verse yeah. at yeah. the end of the advertisement. Yeah. Look, oh, it's 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 real, real letters. Yeah. You can't even see it. Yeah. Yeah. Like two seconds, they go away. Man. Yeah. <laughs> they told you. What was that, man? What was those uh, things? Uh, 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 TV, man. Viagra and said that you should uh, experience numbness of the tongue, the loss of sight, and loss of hearing immediately. Uh, call call your decision. doctor. How? <laughs> you can't How? See you nothing. can't see nothing. You can't hear nothing. You can't like hell and hell talk. Man. You got me in my house like Helen Keller. Yeah, I can't do nothing, man. I can't hear or see, bro. You want me to cry, man? That's it. That's it. Oh. Seven, verse eleven. Go ahead, brother. It says, "Therefore shall evil come upon thee." Thou shalt, thou shalt not know from which it rises. Ooh. Hey, cause what? Hey, just hey, this, hey, hey, the destruction that you have about man's is going to kick your ass, man. Yep, that's right, bro. Right, cause that's what right. the scriptures say, uh, no man knows the day or hour. That's right. Bro. And, and what the brothers read that you ain't gonna know where it's coming from, man. Mm -hmm. so we said from the east to the west, from the bottom to the side, mm -hmm. coast to coast. Yeah. You know where it comes from. If this ship shall fall upon thee. Thou shalt not be able to put it off. Mm. So also, hey, you know, the judgment was like, yeah, I will watch my side is bringing a vision is what? The scriptures say, for three transgressions of Edom and for four, I will not turn away that punishment of their yep. other. Right? You know, America is a cesspool of wickedness. Right? And also, this is the worst captivity that the whites have been in. So, you think, yeah, I will watch my side is going to just let this slide, man? Nope. You bugged out. It says, uh, 
Yeah. It's a death of evil shall come upon thee, thou shalt not know from which it rises, and this shall, this chip shall fall upon thee, thou shalt not be able to put it off. A desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, when thou shalt know not. Mm. It's a stand down with thy enchantments, and with thy multitudes of sorceries, when thou hast labored from thy youth. If so be, thou shalt be able to profit. Yo, so, hey, knowing that this destruction is coming, a, try to seek the counsel of all, all your uh, witchcraft, or all your witches, warlocks, astrologers, all that, all right, that they might save you from the destruction. But, hey, we know they're not going to save you from the destruction. Hey, back in uh, Egypt, uh, dealing with the, uh, 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 the, what was it, the, the, the rod? I think it was a rod. And uh, pretty much what they were trying to do, uh, they tried to bring the physicians or the, the, the witches of Egypt mm -hmm. to compare their stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. To the one that Moses had. And hey, they were like, hey, they they acknowledged, you know, the Lord that there was a higher power, man. Yeah. So also, hey, this, hey, your witchcraft is not gonna be able to save you, man, because what? And we know your how about far exceeds that, man. Right. 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 If so be thou shalt be able to profit, if so be thou mayest prevail. And, hey, also <coughs> hey, you don't you won't prevail, man. Alright, prophecy, prophecy is on your ass, man. What? Also, hey, everything is leading up until your slavery, man. Up until your downfall, mm -hmm. right? Uh, I got, got a quick one just to back you up. Uh, that last, that last part. <coughs> that last, okay, that last part. It says, uh, Deuteronomy uh, 32 and 39. See now that I, even I, am He, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make a lie. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So that's what that, that scripture is saying. There's nothing you can do when that judgment comes down. You got your, your soothsayers, your witchcraft will not be able to deliver you. You won't be able to deliver yourself. And we'll and, 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 and we'll see if you're the God that you say you are. That's right. All right. We saw just the mortal man. Yes, and and the worst, the base man. This is Jeremiah. Jeremiah 30 and 24, the fierce anger of the Lord shall not return until he have done, done it and until he have performed the intents of his heart. In the latter days he shall consider it. Hey, hey Amen. The Lord, the Lord is really pissed off at Esau Edom. Pissed off like for lack of better terms. The Lord is really pissed off at Esau Edom's so far away. Our first and foremost, hey, are well, you Romans, or right, which were Edomites back then? I wish y'all are back here in the reincarnation. Y'all gotta pay for what y'all did to our warrior how we shot back then. Yep. Alright. Also, hey, y'all gotta pay for what y'all did to the nation of Israel as a whole. Yep. Like what? The scriptures the scriptures call us the the apple of the Lord's eye, man. So hey, if you can touch your how watching your shot is prize position, you think ain't nothing gonna happen to you, man? the book of Luke chapter 14 verse 11 for whosoever shall exalt exalt himself shall be abased and he that humbled himself shall be exalted all right so you shall exalt himself shall be abased that means brought low real low and we already know according to Isaiah 14 you don't fall hard all right he said whoso uh, uh is humble will be exalted and and he that humbled humbled himself should be exalted. Okay, that's talking about your life. Okay, you being humble. In the end, you're going to be exalted. So I will say, all right. All right. Back in the Psalm chapter ten, verse five, His ways are always grievous. My judgments are far above out of His sight. As for all his enemies, he puffed them. Nah, he said his ways is always grievous. Can somebody uh, get the word brief? Grievous. He said. Okay. Grievous. It says, um. It says uh, grievous. It says causing or characterized by severe pain, mm -hmm. suffering, sorrow, oppressive. Kind. And, you know, and, and that's what he does. You know, 
That's not, like the scripture say, when the wicked, wicked rule, the people mourn. Okay? That's that sorrow. We can't cause him pain. But what is he doing with his, with his juicy juice? All right? All this, uh, all this pharmaceuticals. Precept. That's not messing up people's bodies, okay? Go ahead. It's a, it's a bitter, brutal, burdensome, cruel, excruciating. Mm. Uh, Even his tender mercies are cruel. <laughs> You are heavy, inhumane, murderous. Damn. We know he was a murderer from the beginning. And he still is. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 10, verse 1. It says, Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees, and their right grievousness which they have prescribed, to turn aside the needy from judgment, and to take away the right from the poor of my people. That widows may be their prey, and that they may rob the fathers. That's also hey, those are righteous decrees, you know, because what? Esau, <coughs> it's lucky. Esau Edom, so-called white man, he writes out this legislation pretty much to make things harder for Jake. Mm -hmm. Right, because so, hey, what? It says, which they have prescribed, and hey, they already planned out these legislation here. They just have to put it into practice. Yep. That's also, hey, Esau's whole MO is to what? To make life harder for Jake, as the brother brought out in the Bible uh, 200. All right? Uh, woe unto him that devises iniquity upon his bed. Because what? You know, we know we're, that we're Esau Edom's main target. So ultimately, Esau is pushing all of these devices, you know, all of these legislations, right, just to keep uh, Jake in a ditch that they're already in. That's what, that's what a lot of those, uh, what is it, those UN meetings and things like that, those, those are the type of things that they discuss, all right, in, in those type yep. of meetings. Ways to what? To destroy Jake, to bring Jake down, all right? To keep Jake in, in that low state of mind. All right, those are the things that they discuss in those types of meetings, all right? That's the book of Proverbs, chapter 4, verse 16. For they sleep not, except they have done mischief, and their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. All right, so you know this, this wicked nation, uh, Esau, they lose sleep, man, if they don't some uh, uh, destroy the nation of Israel, man. Yep. They can't even sleep. It says, uh, for they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. So, you know, that's their whole M.O., man. That's all they know is wickedness, man, and how to, how to destroy Jake. That's all he's on over. That's pretty much they, they doctrine. Yeah, he said, how do you know? Scripture never comes to kill, 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 and destroy, man. He said, uh, he said, he said, he said, drink. That's how they nourish or sustain themselves. You know? They have to do that. Or else they, they won't survive. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 29 and verse 15. It says, Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord, Yahweh, outside. And their works are in the dark. And they say, who seeth us and who knoweth us? All right, so yeah, pretty much, you know, uh, um, uh, linking that scripture to what Kadash uh, was uh, talking about earlier, how these elites, they pretty much get together in these secret councils, right, these meetings, right? Mm -hmm. All right? Uh, 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 and, and, and devising, all right, planning on uh, uh, what they want to do to destroy all right, the nation of Israel, man, spiritually and, and physically, man, mm -hmm. right? And, 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 hey, 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 they, 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 they try to do this stuff in, in the dark, all right, to, to, to the point to where uh, they, they don't want the masses knowing uh, what, what they're doing, man, all right? They, they want to do the, they want to push their uh, uh, evil agendas, all right, in secret, man. And they think that, they, they think that Yahweh outside is a monster, all right, recording everything that they're doing. And, and at the top of that scripture, it said, whoa, which means I right, death, and, death and destruction, all right, which is pretty much impending unto his own each one, all right? It just talks about that, that the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, all right? And he covered the faces of the judges thereof, all right? Who are the judges, man, all right? Uh, Israel, all right? And then with that head, so it's beginning with your house shot, right? This is the book of Psalms, chapter 58, verse 2. It says, Yea, in heart ye work wickedness. Ye wake the, the violence of your hands in the earth. All right? 
And when it's going to be saw, man, all over the earth, what does he do? Cause violence everywhere he goes, man. He's the author of it. He goes into countries that are that are pretty much okay, all right. But since he wants that rulership, he wants that the, uh, 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 um, resources. resources. What does he does? He 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 deems the ruler to be wicked, all right. Takes it over by violence, man. Yep. All right. He either kills the ruler or he starts some type of propaganda war over there, all right. But through violence, all right, throughout the world, this how he has remained on top, man. This is the wicked are strange from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. All right, so as soon as they come out the womb, they already liars, man. All right, that's what it's going to say, trust not thy enemy. Yep. All right, because if they, if they lie from the, from the womb, how can you trust somebody who was a liar from the womb, man? They created to be the wicked. You find that? So yep. they come in this world, that's why the scripture say when they, when they was a baby, because they came they were born to be wicked. They, they have no other objective, man. All right, come here, man. Yes, sir. This is Isaiah 59 and 7. Their feet run to evil and, and they make haste to shed innocent blood. Their thoughts are their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity, wasting and destruction are in their paths. God it says that their, their feet, you know, just, they just have to do wickedness. You know, have to uh, bloodshed. You know, as the scriptures say, because uh, because that Ezekiel 35 and 5. You know, they, they weren't afraid of blood, so you have to prepare for it. So he's going to prepare them unto blood. Okay, they had no problem with bloodshed. And, and, and you see that. You know, all that stuff is being exposed right now. You know, you finding out, you know, uh, whole cities with jakes are under these man-made lakes. Okay? They trying to ban certain books. All right? Uh, what, what was that big one uh, was without, without, without Sanctuary? They literally documented the hangings and mutilations. Okay, and then the book that came after that, uh, well, after they took us down, they was eating us. You know, like you said, uh, it was just wicked. He's got to go. And he know he's got to go. That's why he's fighting, you know, trying to get his last bit in, but it ain't going to work. You're gone, man. Anytime you live in the world and you destroy the world that you live in, that means you have no regard for nobody or Nothing. yourself. Right? Hey, All right, you living in the same place we live in, but you destroying this motherfucker, man. Yep. All right, is, go ahead, man. They say he did his evil to himself. To yeah. so yeah. whom will he do it, you know? <laughs> you got that? Okay. So look, Ezekiel chapter 35 and verse 5. It says, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time of their iniquity, and again. God, so it's like, okay, the force of the sword. That was his blessing. All the way back to Genesis. All right, and he said a perpetual hatred, continually, non-stop, of shedding our blood. Perpetual. And that's and that's continuous to, to, to this day. You know, and we and we seeing the differences, you know. Jay can be unarmed. Blow him away. Oh, like dude uh, who appears in the wrong Yeah. Like dude who appears in the wrong doorstep. Yeah, the one yeah, that, that Yarrow kid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, went to the wrong uh, house. Fuck! Yeah. Yep. Remember the dude in, in uh at the gas station, man? He said, get your wallet. As soon as he went to the moon, yeah. he said, he got a gun. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, no, 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 no. He's like, no, I ain't. But he's already to take your life, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. if there wasn't nobody out there yeah. to witness it, he, that his life probably would have got taken that God, night, man. Say, go not in the way the one who has the power to kill. Yeah. God. God. It says, therefore, as I live, said the Lord, how about you shot, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Now, now it's your turn. Okay. Your turn for your blood to be shed. It's like it tells us in Numbers 35 and 33. Okay. Now it's not for your blood to be shed. Because of what you've done. You don't, you don't think anything's going to happen to you. You know, so what's that? Uh, Colossians 2 and 25, he that doeth wrong must receive for the wrong he has done. Right. There's no respect to a person. Right. You know, that no respect to a person, your old, young babies, you know, wipe them all out. You got to go. This is Revelation 13 and 9. 
If any man have an ear, let him hear. <laughs> he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. <laughs> he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and faith of the saints. All right? That's right. You get us into captivity, you're going to be led into captivity. You killed us with the sword, you're going to be killed with the sword. All right? And the saints are patiently waiting for that time. All right? And we are, we, we, we are soon to come to that time. We're patiently waiting for it. Okay? We, we, we can't wait for the Lord to let us get, get our hands on it. All right? So we patiently waiting for the time, man. God, God. Hey, it's like, like that. Turn, huh? <laughs> like that. Uh, like that one uh, uh, intro to some uh, uh, of the uh, apostles' old videos. He that kills with the sword must be killed with the sword. Transgressions of Edom and uh, and for four, I will turn not away thy punishment therefore, because he did he did thereof, because he did pursue his brother with the sword and did cast off all pity, and his anger did tear perpetually. Yes, uh, three transgressions of Edom and for four, that's that endless sin, sin upon sin upon sin. Okay, he went after his brother with the sword. That was his blessing. You know, he said that again back in Genesis. All right, he was blessed with that sword. You know, he's going to say that the days of my father Isaac I had. You know, I'm going to slay my brother Jacob. So again, that goes back to that ancient hatred. Okay, and it said it's perpetual, non-stop. Read that again. All right. From the top. Yeah. All right. Top. Amos one and eleven. Thus said the Lord, for three transgressions of Edom and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof. Now he says he will not turn away the punishment. Yes, it is inevitable. You know, that inevitable means it's going to happen. Just like his word is inevitable. Okay? Once it goes out, it's going to accomplish whatever he pleases. And that's what he's saying right here. You're going to be punished for what you did. Go ahead. All right. Because he did pursue his brother with the sword and and did cast off all pity. He had no mercy on us. No mercy on us. Like we were just saying, you know, uh, uh, you know, he told the uh, uh, elder just brought out, told the guy to get his license as soon as he reached for it, shot him. You know, he had, he had, to, he had that situation in Florida where this, uh, this Jake caretaker was trying to uh, get one of his uh, people back. You know, the cop pulled his gun on him. He laying down with his hands up. Shot him anyway. They asked the cop why he did it. I don't know. It just blew Jake. You know, just shot him. Jake. Why you shoot me? I don't know. I fear for That's my life. That's one of the things that they do. They, 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 they shoot him. And what's the first thing that they do? They find an old picture when you was hanging out with your boys. Yep. And they had to throw this propaganda out. Oh, he was a hoodlum. They never showed that you was an honor roll student. Yep. He was on the right path. Your mama got you a line. Track. No, they want to. They want to. Keep, they don't want to keep out no type of sorrow for you. Nope. Yeah. He was a nigga. That's what they want to do the world. Well, that's what he was eating, Mike. That's right. Yep. He's a prime child. He grew up yeah. such and such. They, they <laughs> paint his mother just killed 12 people. Uh, he, he was off his men. He was off his men. No, no, he a murderer, man. That's right, bro. All right, go ahead, bro. But Jake is the same shit. He's a thief. He's a robber. Yep. This is Obadiah 1 and 10. For the violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall come to thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. Cut off uh, that, that violence, you know, that, all, all, all that killing, you know, all the bloodshed, you know, everything that you did to, to keep us either dead or in a low state. Your shame's going to come to you, and that shame is coming right now. And everybody's starting to see what, what you've done, all right, and what you continue to do. You know, you the culprit of doing everything, all right? And then when we bring this stuff out, you try to call us racist. This is uh, uh, Psalms chapter uh, 
17 and verse 13, he says, Arise, O Yahweh, by Shin Shai, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. All right, so yeah, hey, they said, they said, Arise, O Yahweh, by Shin Shai, all right, disappoint him, cast him down, all right. We're praying to Yahweh, by Shin Shai, to, to cast down Esau, Edom, all right. Because he, because Esau Edom, he's the sword of the heavenly Father, man. All right, and and, and the and Yahweh Bashim Al Shai is gonna use all right uh, 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 Esau Edom, all right, the sword, all right, to um to to, to, to punish all right two thirds of the nation of Israel, man. All right, because the scripture talks about um uh, 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 the, 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 devil, the devil shall come down with the uh, great wrath, you know. All right, so hey, that 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 that, that perpetual hatred of Esau Edom. All right, it's, it's, it's still a uh, uh, burning, burning in his spirit, man. All right, he, he, he wants to take down the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? But that's also, all right, uh, uh, the, uh, the Lord using, all right, Esau, you know, uh, to, to, uh, uh, to, to punish the, the, the two birds, man. All right, and we don't want to be a part of that number, all right? Which is why we're signing a crying out here on the, on the island of the heavens, all right? All right, to, to have that, um, to, to have that uh, dawah, all right, that, that, that spiritual mark, all right, uh, 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 except for judgment, you know, because uh, uh, the Lord uh, does control the space, for example, all right, he's using Esau even as a sword, as a, as a, as a weapon, you know? all right, because, all right, hey, what, what, what's one of Esau even's blessings, all right, it's, it's the sword, all right, this, this man took the creation of the Heavenly Father and, and turned it into a, a killing instrument, man, you know, yeah, the Lord is actually using the white man right now to take Jake out. Right? Yep. You know what I'm saying? So we're seeing, like, they've been going into all day. We're seeing the prophecy unfold right before our face. Right. Mm -hmm. All right, just the book of Ezekiel, chapter 25, verse 14. And I will lay vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. Mm. That's going to be some, a few, some beautiful times, man, because the, the most high is going to use his men to put the nation Esau to death, man. It says, and they shall do it, Edom, according to mine anger and according to mine fury. And the most high got that righteous uh, anger with the nation uh, uh, Esau. You know why? Because what the brother was bringing out earlier, they touched the apple of his eye, man. Some of people that were special unto him, man. So you can't just do that and expect to get away with it. Yep. Uh, and don't forget, ultimately, too, Esau uh, killed the Lord and they crucified him. God, God. It says, and they shall know me. And they shall do and eat him according to my anger and according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance, said the Lord Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shah. And you're going to know that it was the Lord that did that to you, man, because you're going to be completely and utterly destroyed. You know, and, you know, that same hatred that you got for the nation of uh, Israel, we got that same hatred for you, man. So it's yep. going to be a beautiful thing to see you get destroyed, man. Yep. It's the book of Galatians, chapter 6, verse 7. It says, Be not deceived, Yahweh is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. God says that. So what a man soweth, you know, what you put in and what you get out. You put in death and bloodshed, you're going to get death and bloodshed. Yes, you All right? right? Just that simple. For, for he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. God. And that's, we, we know that Esau is a common man. Okay? You know, yeah, he, he, he's a carnal man, and, and that's the thing, you know. He's all about uh, murder, all right? But he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. God, and who's that life everlasting given to? The nation of Israel. That's talking about the elect, all right? All right. All right. All right, so with that, we hope this lesson was edifying for the body. Once again, we're going to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Kapadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well in teaching us this 100% truth. Salutations to them and our fellow Akim who live in this truth week in and week out on the highways and byways. Also, salutations to the hopeful elect of the scattered 12 tribes of Israel, scattered to the four corners of the earth that be like it to the speckled bird. To you, we say Shalom. Shalom. Abal Babal. Abal Babal. All right, Shalom to you, sincere brothers and sisters on the comment board. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.